your stuff. Okay, so uh, good afternoon, everyone. Great to be here. No pressure on being the first. Um, so yeah, thank you for that one, Dawn. But anyway, so yeah, I'm Stu. I want to start off with a question. Um, this afternoon, how can you stand out from your competition? I guess it's a question that every business owner in the, since the dawn of time has probably asked, how can they stand out from people that do what they do? And if you've been around networking, you probably understand that it's not what you do. And it isn't actually how you do it as well, because a lot of people who do what they do uh, all do things in their very similar <coughs> ways. But it's about who you are, it's about your personality, your drive, the way that you operate, uh, the passions that you have, the way that you think, the way that you act. Those are things that separate you and define your business from anyone else, your competition included. And it comes down to your values, the way that you see the world, the things that you stand for as an individual and as a business. Your values matter. Hopefully, over the next few minutes, we're going to unpack a little bit about why they're important and actually about how you can begin to really uh, work those values into your business. So values are, they are one of the things that are unique to you. So you may use the same words as other people, but they all mean different things. You will live those out in a different way. Those are the things that make you stand out from the crowd. They help you connect with the right people because like-minded people are naturally attracted to each other. So if you share very similar values to another someone else, you will naturally be attracted to them, whether that's a potential recruit, a potential employee, a potential um, client, someone in your wider network. They actually help you connect with the right people. And they enable you, therefore, to grow your business. As you communicate, as you live out your values, you will draw those people that are right for you and that you are right for in return. So where do values fit in with the kind of overall communication and business structures? Well, let's have a quick look at that. So it comes, firstly, it's about your purpose, your why, why you do what you do. If you are not clear on your purpose, then you really do need to begin to get your head around that. Um, it's a really key thing. Why do you do what you do in the way that you do it? What drives you? What are your ambitions? All those kind of things. And then your values fit in. That's who you are. It's your personality. It's the way that you actually kind of see the world, the things that you stand for. And that will then lead, uh, lead into the culture, your how, how you do what you do in the way that you do it. And purpose, values, and culture are fundamental to things that make you stand out from the crowd, that can enable your business to be amazing and be completely unique. And as you work with people, uh, whether they're a prospect or clients, whatever, they will buy into you. And that's where you build relationships. So as you as you buy into you, you then nurture those relationships to the whole classic no light trusker that we've talked about so many times before. And then once people have bought into you, when they're ready, and if they're in the market, they will buy from you. It's no brainer, it's obvious. Well, they like you, they know you, they trust you, they see the world in the same way that you do, and they all use you, and they all recommend you to other people. And that is how you begin to stand out from the competition. Your values need to be six things. You need to be foundational, really important. They are the bedrock, the heart and soul of your business, of what you do, and why you do it, and how you do it. They are non-negotiable. If you change completely what you do tomorrow, your values would still remain the same. They have to be clear. You have to be understand what you mean by the words that you use. They have to be really clear so you can communicate them to other people, whether they are in your team, uh, your suppliers, other people in your network, or your prospects and clients. They have to mean something. It's really important. They're not just buzzwords. They have to mean something to you personally and to your team if you have one, they need to lead to actions, not just, oh yeah, because it's actually, you know, we believe this and we live this out and they need to be memorable as well to help people really engage, it helps if you can remember them and actually give other people a way to remember them too. So getting clear on your values, how do we do that? There are three things. The first is to unearth them. To unearth something is to dig deep, to get to the heart, to maybe dig under something. It takes blood, sweat and tears sometimes. 
So dig deep in and to unearth the values that drive your business. It takes time, it takes thought, it takes effort. It takes challenge, ask those challenging questions. What is it you stand for? Who are we as a business? Who am I as a business owner? What's my why, my purpose? Why do I do what I do in a way that I do it? Once you've begun that process of unearthing, you can then, get, then begin to define. What words will you use to shape and define your values? And we work with clients on this, we use the four by one method, one word, one sentence, one paragraph, and one image. And I'll give you some examples of those a little bit later. And then there's no point in, in doing all that unearthing and defining, all that really hard graph, this for them to sit in a drawer somewhere. So communicate and share your values with the world. Let your audience know who you are. Put them on your website, share them over social, put them on your office wall, or send them out to your team if they're working from home on a postcard maybe. Create a document and send out. Talk about them, use them in, in your everyday business language. So here are three examples of, uh, we've got six values, and these are three of them, integrity, creative, and ethical. And here's just an example of actually how we've used one word, integrity, one sentence, true to ourselves, or walking the path less traveled, and then actually how we've chosen to define those values for the way that we mean them. So then when other people are looking at them, they know what I mean by the words that we tend to use. We see ourselves as tigers. So you're, if you go on our website, our tigers feature really heavily um, in these. So we've chosen an image that represents what we mean by the words that we've chosen. So everything is kind of backing each other up. So remember, Simon Sinek says, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. It's so easy to forget in the day-to-day -day running of your business. So what are the benefits of communicating your why, that's your purpose, that's your values? There are four things. They enable you to get buy-in from the right prospects. I've talked about that already. It equips you with a competitive advantage because no one else does what you do in the way that you do it because of the way that you do it and the way that you see the world. It gives you a really clear advantage to talk to people who are like you and, and who like you. It gives prospects a compelling reason to use your services. Well, why wouldn't I use them? Because they, you know, they just, we love them because of you know, whatever they, they stand for. And it aligns if you have a team, whether that's external in terms of kind of third party suppliers or people that you employ, it aligns your team with your why. It actually pulls everyone together, you're pulling in the same direction at the same time, seeing from the same hymn sheet. So how do you go about communicating actions? Well, hopefully Dawn or Jamie will be uh, dropping a handout that I've uh, designed that goes around this um, into uh, the chat now. And on page 10, there is this page. Um, and it's just a simple case of kind of start with, start with your 10, 10 words that resonate with you. Don't think about it too hard. And then delete three, and then delete two. So you have with five core values. Then begin to define what those words mean to you. Think about it, it will take time. And then once, you've, once you, maybe your team, have gone through that process, start communicating them, start living them out as well. It's that actionable thing. And you make those words actionable so that you can measure how you are doing and how your team are doing in accordance with your values. And so that is everything in point. So if there's anything that you have got kind of questions about, then please do hesitate to get in, to visa, hesitate to get in touch. My contact details are on a handout that should be in touch. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. And I hope that has been of help this afternoon. Thank you very much.